In the gallant days when history hung on the flight of an arrow or the slash of a sword. When feudal barons ravaged the countryside to live in pomp and splendor. It is truly colorful, exciting, fascinating entertainment every minute of the way. Green Sea Adventures. Hello, my friends, and happy holidays. Welcome back to Moon Sea Adventures Season 2. We had a heck of a cliffhanger, if I do say so myself, in the last episode. As the party were clearing out the uh, the horrible mines and freeing the lizard folk from them and the other prisoners, they came across the final chamber in which they found a sleeping black dragon. The sleeping black dragon, not to be confused with the enormously large ancient Cherna, but perhaps a relative of this being a younger uh, black dragon. And um, Angler successfully stealthing in um, and going around the perimeter of the cavern had snuck to the rear of the dragon, to the rear end of the cavern. While meanwhile, Harley had snuck up uh, closer to the head of the sleeping dragon and had noticed something. Noticed that sleeping dragon had a crusty, mucusy sort of uh, area around its snout and also around its eyes, which, as all of you well know now, are the telltale signs of the plague which afflicted the Moon Sea region. Harley, being Harley, then decided to wake the sleeping dragon. And as its one eye opened to look at you, we will now begin this session by rolling initiative, everybody. Ooh. It's never good when the DM says, ooh, mm. on an initiative roll for a dragon. <clears throat> but that's what I'm saying, people. All right. Who has higher than a 20? <laughs> No. All right. 19, 18, 17, 16. 19. 19. Okay. All right. That's not bad. You you could live. Um, <laughs> Tyler. Tyler, what do you have? Eight. Eight. Measly eight. Uh, Ushun, what do you have? 15. 15 it is. Angler, what do you have? 12. 12. All right. We're fucked. In a uh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, it, it depends on you know how you play the game, of course. Watch like, your language. I'm I'm going to roll uh, now for your NPCs because uh, for those who don't remember, outside of the cave, Siler and Ushun had a few assistants who were willing to risk their very lives, including a dwarf who was yet to be named, uh, and the leader of the lizard folk, Viz as well as uh, the human um, who you had rescued as a prisoner, who introduced himself previously as Vihozi. So, that, that's pretty remarkable. The dwarf actually has the, the next highest uh, initiative role next to um, Harley. Okay, so this means that the dragon goes first, it opens its eye, it looks at you, it opens its other eye, and it starts to get up. Now it's Harley's turn. Okay. As the dragon rises up, I quickly move towards the entrance by only 30 feet and then I want to search my bag for the uh, cure disease potion okay so you are moving away from it you're ducking around the corner and searching your bag for the cure disease potion yes got it those of you outside see Harley move you see this dragon starting to rouse Harley runs outside into the the main cave and takes cover behind the wall with you guys. The dwarf, brave, brave dwarf with his pick, looks at you and holds his action. <laughs> holds his action. 
Vihozi looks at you guys and holds his action. Ushun, you're up. I calmly take the uh, potion of heroism, and I know what it does. And uh, I will step to the anterior side, um, just inside the anterior of the dragon, just inside the cave, and hold my weapon at the ready. Okay. You are within its sight, and you can see it. Um, Angler, you are behind it. It doesn't seem to see you, but it is getting up and turning like towards the entrance of the cave. Uh, I'd like to stay on its backside if I could. So okay. I, like, just I'm not. It? I'm not going to make you make a new stealth roll as long as you remain motionless. You, you're, you're good. Okay. Um, I'll just stay where I am. Okay. That brings us then to Siler. Yep. You have dark vision. <clears throat> yep. You you see Harley hightail it out, looks through his bag. You see Ushin quaff a potion and go in. And mm-hmm. you see the others looking at you guys like, what the hell's going on? Like, actually, literally, Vihozi says, what's going on? Because he's a human and he can't see. <laughs> <laughs> The dwarf, uh, the dwarf, and and Viz, however, look very concerned. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm gonna warn uh, Fiosi of the there's there's the the dragon, and it's starting to stir. And at that same time, I just ready my bow and prepare the um, hunter's mark. You have you have a fairly high perception. Go ahead and make me a perception. Actually, I'll let you choose either perception or insight. Um, I'll try perception. Try the other die as well. Uh, eleven. Uh, sorry, nine. It looks like it's getting up. It does not look. Um, happy yeah <clears throat> uh, like i said I'm, I'm readying my hunter's mark um to cast that as a bonus before losing an arrow um at the point that it becomes uh, obviously aggressive uh, aggressive okay uh the other npcs also just ready their simple <laughs> weapons uh well actually the dwarf and vihozi have like mining picks but Viz has his spear and his shield, and he he's just kind of waiting for you. All right, that brings us to the top of the order, everybody. Oh, uh, by the way, Bill, can, um, yes. seeing that, can I hand one of my short swords to um, Fiose? Yes, you can. And he oh, gratefully yeah. takes it. He's like, ah. Oh. Um, this brings us to the top of the order. The dragon sees you, Ushun. But I'm also going to make a perception check for the dragon. It, you get the sense that it not only sees you, but it, it looks at the front entrance, and it heaves its chest and goes, and just spits out this horrible black greenish liquid from its mouth. However you it's it's not an area of effect it's a line so basically there's no one in that line so it's going to breathe at you you need to make a dex saving throw okay so i have to do a calculation here because i have an extra plus four for the potion of heroism yep okay so let me do that first okay wow that was lovely plus one so my save deck save is this plus one which is 13. total yep 
you are going to take the full blast of 43 acid damage. Okay. And I don't have, uh, well, I'm not raged anyway, so. Okay, um, that's fine. You, those of you outside hear the splashing sound of acid as it not only hits Ushun, but the, the wall right behind Ushun, which you were on the other side of, which is why you did not get splashed by it. Um, it is now Harley's turn. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to do everything in one turn but as i find the potion uh what's the situation with the dragon's mouth is it still like open after the uh, breath or... yeah i mean you saw it just like rear back and oh, just blast out um this oh okay this in, of acid in that case i want to throw the potion of cure disease in his mouth Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas! Um, all right. So here's what you're gonna do. This is a improvised throne attack. Yep. Do you have proficiency in athletics? Oh no. Okay. So then you are only you're just gonna make an attack roll with only your dexterity bonus. That's all you get. Okay. Go ahead. <sighs> I can send you the screenshot, but it's net 20. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I, um, well, obviously a potion isn't going to do damage, like double damage. I know. But I, I would say that the net 20 grants you the success to get it into its gullet, into its mouth. I'm going to have I'm it make to... a deck save to see if it swallows it or not. It failed its save. So it it you throw it in and it swallows this thing. Okay. Um, next up is the dwarf. He turns and throws the pickaxe, uh, the pick, the mining pick, at the um, scene you throw something, he throws his pick, uh, which is a total of a 14, which is not enough to hit this thing. The pick just bounces off of the dragon's natural armor. This brings us to Vihozi. Uh, would this also be a good time for my reaction, loosening an arrow? Yes. <clears throat> so, casting the Hunter's Mark, uh, which gives me a bonus to hitting, I think, also. Yep. 15 plus my longbow. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Uh, dirty 20 is Extra D6 damage. That is a hit. Tell me the damage. So, uh, D8 and D6. Seven. Seven. Trying to aim for its maw. Okay. You successfully shoot it. Uh, Vihozi is going to follow the dwarf's lead and throw his pick. And misses. Uh, Ushun, you're up. How much of what I am wearing and holding is destroyed? <clears throat> Um, what kind of armor are you wearing? Leather. It is gone. Good. <laughs> I have a higher, higher armor class now. Uh, and, um, uh, how about the, um, the glaive? Glaive is, is intact. But if you get another blast, it's gone. Yeah. It's more, it's more the, the handle of it than anything else. Okay, I am angry, so I will do a um, rage. It's a bonus action. And I will run right for the, the belly. 
point forward. Okay, bonus action rage and make your attack. Alrighty then. Don't forget to add in your bonuses for yep. the potion and the uh, the damage for rage. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so I get a thing for that. So I have to do this. Excuse me, while I while I do this. Okay, so that's that, and then I do a twenty sider. Angler, you are on deck, just to let you know. And that is a 23 to hit with all my bonuses. Okay, that's a hit. Roll damage. Yeah, the damage. The damage. Let me see. The halberd is a D10. 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 Okay. That is a total of 15, 16, 17. Okay, got it. And I have another attack. Mm -hmm. So I will do that again. Do the D4 first. Okay, that's even better. And I'll do the attack. Okay, so that is, uh, geez, that's 26. That's a hit. Roll damage. <laughs> so that's a 10. Plus, let me see, that's only uh, 14. Okay. Right in its broadside. All right. You hit it. It's clearly angry. Uh, Angler, you are up. Well, seeing we're uh, now in combat with it, uh, I'd like to take a stab at its uh, backside. Okay. Because Ushun like. is attacking it, uh, you do have your sneak attack damage as the uh, flanking is happening. Okay. 20 to hit. That's a hit. All right. Eighteen points of damage. Nice. And I'm going to use my bonus action to like stab it with a psychic knife. Okay. Twenty-six to hit. That's a hit. And eight points of damage. Eight more. All right. <clears throat> it is not happy. Clearly, it didn't notice you. Siler, you're up. You're muted, I think. Yeah. Um, there will be a second arrow coming his way. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. There's just a nine. nine. Yep. Nine. Uh, miss. Yep. Any other activities, bonus actions, anything like that? Um, no, I have to keep my... Um, What's it? Um, concentration up. Okay. So I'll I'll probably be ducking out the, on the side of the cavern opening, stepping out of the way. All right. Seeing that um, Ushun has bravely stepped up to attack this, uh, Viz rushes in with his shield and his spear and just guts at it. Or 16, which is not enough. He, you see his spear hits this thing, but it just kind of repels, the, the thick hide of this dragon just repels the edge of his spear. Uh, this brings us back to the dragon. The dragon twists and reaches out to bite Ushun. Uh, 12 to hit? Nope. Misses. Snaps at Ushun and then claws at Ushun and claws at Viz. Uh oh. So that's a nat 20. <sighs> and a 17. Does a 17 hit you, Ushun? Yeah. 
Okay, so the claw attack. <clears throat> you're going to take 16, but your rage, so you only take 8. And then the nat 20 is, ow. Oh, poor Viz. Oh. 28 damage. Uh, the claw on Viz literally knocks him back to the ground, to like the entrance of the cave. He's on the ground. Not dead, but that was a huge hit. Like there's a gaping gash in his chest from this claw attack. Uh, and that concludes the dragon's round. Harley, you're up. Okay, I don't know if it's uh, considered bonus action or the full action, but I want to just grab my one of my scimitars from my bag and throw it to Vihozi. Okay. And if I uh, can use my action, yes, I'd, I'd like to uh, <laughs> hex blade curse the dragon. Okay, what am I making for that? Uh, nothing. I have just some bonuses against him. Oh, got it. Right. And. That's my turn. So he has a minus two penalty on attack rolls, saving throws, armor class, skill checks, and damage rolls for the duration of your thing. Is that what it does? Or am I? Uh, no, once per no. short rest, uh, as a bonus action, now as an action, uh, I can choose a oh, creature. Can... Yeah, I for one minute against the target creature, I gain plus four bonus to damage rolls and score a critical hit on roll 19 and 20, and I gain 9 hit points if it dies. Okay, so your <clears throat> your round is done, though, because basically between yeah, yeah, first yeah. and, and passing the scimitar over to Vihozi. Yeah. Okay. The dwarf runs into attack, seeing, seeing what happened to uh, Viz. He grabs the spear off of Viz and runs up and jabs at the dragon. And that is a 19 total, which is a hit for eight more damage. All right. This now brings us to Vihozi, who runs in and does a swing and a swing, scimitar and short sword. 15 is a miss. And a 23 is a hit. There you go, Vihozi. Uh, for, uh, not great, for six damage. All right. <clears throat> then we have Ushun. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I just want to know whether my rage will drop or not. I want to be able to drag um, Viz back to the entrance um you would have to disengage because you're in melee range mm -hmm. you disengage and then you can move and drag him out you're talking about behind a wall for cover yeah yeah oh uh, just you just to safety um i have a movement of 50 now okay you can do that okay. i will say that that is possible now will my rage drop because mm, I have an engage, As long as you engage in combat next round, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna just grab him by the most intact piece, and you just, basically hook under his shoulder and kind of whip him around the corner. Yeah, and I'll just book it as fast as I can. Okay. All right. That brings us to Angler. So Angler, you have you still have the ability to sneak attack him because you have two of your allies attacking him on the front side. Would I be considered flanking? Uh, not where you get advantage on the roll. Okay. I've decided that that's overpowered and I don't do that anymore. Fair enough. But I'll as a rogue, yeah. you can still do sneak attack damage. Yeah. Uh, 23 to hit the rapier? Yes. Sixteen points of damage. 
Nice. And I will use yet another psychic knife to just like stab it in the toe. Okay. Uh, 12 to hit. Miss. All right. Siler. Yeah. <clears throat> um, if he's facing, he's facing my way, if I come out behind the back into the cavern opening, uh, would, would I be able to see his uh, mouth or face, eyes to try and shoot at? Yeah. Or is he turned the other way? No, no. He's he's still facing the majority of you guys. He hasn't really turned towards Angler yet. <laughs> All right. I'll try and uh, hit his uh, eyes or nostril, something like that. Okay. Uh, that's nine plus five, four, uh, 14. Uh, no, miss. Yeah. Figures. Okay, Viz is up. He he kind of sits up against the wall, and and is like has like his shield, and and you see he kind of like s- starts just standing up next next to the wall. He doesn't he doesn't go back into combat, but he he kind of like pulls himself up, and that is his round. All right, I need to make a roll to see if the dragon's acid breath recharges which it does. I need to make another roll, which as you may remember from the healing potions of the disease is a constitution save. The dragon breathes, the dragon moves, turns, and unleashes another spray of acid. The movement and turn is such that he is now in line to hit two of the people that he is next to. Which means that the dwarf and Vihozi have to make a very important dexterity save. The the dwarf rolled a four. Oh no. Vihozi rolls an 18. Vihozi. All right. Um, so that is a lot of damage on the dwarf, and and a lot of damage on Vihozi, but Vihozi takes half. So the dwarf takes whole oh, thirty nine damage. That's actually not even the worst that that would be, but that's still a lot. Vihozi takes half of that. Both of them are just blasted with the acid, and they're just ah, they're screeching in pain. The dwarf falls to the ground. Behozi like backs away in in pain. Um and that concludes the dragon's move for this round. Harley, you are up. Okay. I see that probably the dragon succeeded on the constitution roll, so I just blast him with my Eldritch Blast and take cover behind the wall so two beams uh, and uh, where's my dice and it's uh, 20 for the first beam and only 11 for the second beam 20 is a hit 11 is a miss what's my damage okay that's not good Uh, 8 okay 8 more all right. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, uh, <laughs> You put sorry. that other thing on him. Yeah, 12, 12 damage. Got it. All right, I now have to make a death save for the dwarf. Failure, that's one fail save. Now Vihozi is I'm going to make a roll to see if Behozi is brave or terrified. Nope. Behozi disengages and runs out of the cave, covered in acid, <laughs> and starts running towards the white, uh, the, the big pool of water. That's his whole round. Uh, Ushun, him. <laughs> Ushun, you're up. Okay. I, you know uh... Currently, there's nobody right inside of the cave other than Angler. Okay. I'm going to run back in 
head right toward the spot where I hit it last time and okay. stick it two more times. Okay. I am ready okay. to do this. Okay, so first the four cider. Okay. So, okay, got that. And then this guy, which is that plus that. Uh, whoa, well, that's a 14 to hit on the first strike, which yes. is a miss. And then let's do this. Roll it. Okay. And this. Roll it. Oh my gosh. Okay. 18 to hit? That does hit. Okay. So I will do this. Okay. And that is a. And Angler, you're on deck. 12. Looks like uh, 14. Okay. Got it. Angler, you're up. And because Ushun came back in, you still can use sneak attack. Excellent. I'll, uh, I'll actually move more towards Ushun, I think. Okay. I don't know how big it is. Just like move as far around as I can. It, it's, it's considered large, so you, you can... If you want to still be able to get sneak attack, you can move a quarter of the way around so that you're not at the total back. Like you can move to like, imagine a clock. You're at 12 o'clock right now. You can move to three or or nine. She's at okay. six. Okay. I'll do that. <clears throat> and which, I'll... which way, just so I know, you going three o'clock or nine o'clock? Three o'clock. Okay. All right. And I'll take a stab with my rapier. All right. That is a nine to hit. Nope. And I will do one more try, my bonus action to cyanide bit. Fifteen. Nope. Nope. That is my you, turn. You move, you make a couple attacks. Siler, you're up. I'm gonna drop my uh, bow and quiver and start running in. Uh, grabbing my quarterstaff <clears throat> and I'm going to try and wait for the opportune moment that he has his mouth open and try to just jam the, the quarterstaff right into his mouth. Okay. Um, let's see if that, hope it will work. Uh, eight, uh, five, thirteen. You smack at it, but its mouth is snapping around trying to bite at people and yeah. It's it's not a ideal situation, so unfortunately that does not work. Okay. Um, Viz, mm -hmm. seeing that you dropped your bow, I'm going to make a roll for Viz. Viz, uh, actually, Viz grabs your bow. Uh, let me make a slight of hand check. And is able to pull an arrow out of your quiver as you're running in. I, I dropped the bow. I dropped the quiver. Okay, takes the bow, picks it up, and fires off uh, an arrow, and hits. Nice. Four, six damage. That's the end He's of that. A better round. shot than I am. <laughs> Beginning of the next round, I need to make a roll for the dragon. It is recharged. Uh, it is going to do three attacks. It's going to whip and claw. One claw on Angler for 15. That is my, that is my AC. Okay. One claw on Siler for 19. Yeah, that's it. And a bite on Ushun for 20, 27. No, doesn't hit. Um, it does. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do reverse order with that. So uh, 16 damage on the bite, which means you only take eight. Oh, thank goodness. Um, claw on angler is 13. 
I'll uncanny uh, dodge that. Okay. Wisely. Uh... Oh, wait, you can't. Can't? Oh, yeah, you can't. It's the beginning okay. of the round. My, my bad. You can. Okay. Um, but that burns your bonus action, right? I think it's a reaction. Reaction. Okay, so 16. So, um, and then 16 on you, Siler. Yeah. Um, probably can dodge that now. All right. 16 down. Oops. All right. This means that we are at Harley. Okay. Everyone's brave but me. So I shoot it again with the with uh, the Eldritch Blast. Go ahead. And uh, okay, it's uh, 19, which is a crit, and 14 plus 4, 18. Can I get the phone number on your Live Buy account? You can also say, I don't have one. Yes. So. Uh, if it's a crit, it's uh, by badass rules, yes? Yes. So it's... Uh, it's... Uh, it's 31 for the first one. And uh, for the second one, it's only 10. Okay, wow. All right. Um, dwarf, death save. That is <laughs> success. Okay, Vihozi is splashing into the water. Um, Ushun, you're up. Okay, so um, I will do this one more time because I have uh, to preserve myself. So that is that. This is this first attack. Same, same kind of thing. Yep. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that's a miss. That's a 10. I'll try the second attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 27. Hit. And damage. Okay, seven, 11, 12, 13, 13, I think that's it. 13? Yeah, that's it, 13, yeah. All right. It is very obviously enraged, and it's it's suffered quite a bit of damage. Um, this brings us to Angler. Uh, could I use a bonus action to toss a potion of healing to Ushun? You could. I will do that. All right. Um, okay. now you used your reaction for Uncanny Dodge, right? Yes, but that comes back with my turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I can take a stat still with yeah. my action. Okay. It's 25 to hit. That's a hit. And 21 points of damage. Oh, 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 oh man. Close to max rolls. All right, Siler, you're up. Yeah. 
Um, I was thinking about dropping the quarterstaff, just grabbing my dagger and trying to climb my way up the, the dragon, uh, trying to get up his neck to, towards his uh, head. I think you should totally do that. And <laughs> if at all possible, just try and use my dagger, uh, uh, just plunging it into his skin to, to, as a climbing aid. Okay. That's... Um, make me an athletics check or acrobatics, actually. I'll let you do either one because he's kind of like a moving person. Yeah, well, results is the same on the on the adding, so. 14 and 5, that's 19. Um, that's a hit. Uh, for, yeah, that's, that's for the climbing, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's So you're able to get up. Now make your stab roll. Um, stab, stab. Oh, even better. Uh, dagger, 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 5. Uh, 17, 22. That's a hit. Damage. And the dagger is a four. Nope, oh, and a six for the... Seven. Seven more. Wow. Well, okay. it, was the, it was the hunter's mark for four points that helped, uh, helped a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Viz is going to fire an arrow, which is going to be a miss. Top of the order. The dragon disengages from all of you by moving forward. Anybody outside of the cave will get an opportunity attack as he's passing through their threat range. And the dragon is using its full movement, its land speed movement, to get out of the cavern and is heading towards the entrance to the entire cave complex. Um, its tail end will be at the front, or the basically it's it's just cresting the the large entrance to the caves. That's its move. This brings us to Harley. You get an opportunity attack if you would like uh, with a melee attack. And I'm trying to hold on for dear life. <laughs> yes, we'll we'll make that roll in a moment. Okay, I would like to make an opportunity attack. And it's uh, 20, not net. Okay. And uh, damage is... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Wealth. What weapon are you using? Uh... I feel like maybe your math is wrong. How do you have a melee weapon that does 12? A silver rapier. Oh. So it's, it's 1d8 plus I got effectively okay. 8. Got it. All right. Full damage. <laughs> and as it's my turn, well, I'll blast it with Eldritch Blast. OK. OK. That's not good for him. I can, again, send you my screenshot, but it's double 19, so double crit. Okay. Game on. <sighs> this might be a deciding factor. Okay, according to my math, it's 24 plus... <sighs> uh, okay, again. <sighs> I've got a pen. I can write it down. Uh, so so four, it's now 40, this last. Yeah, it's 42 damage for the first one. That's not possible. That's not mathematically possible. One Eldritch Blast is D10. So that's max yes. 10. And then you roll another die. And yeah, I have, I, have, uh, I have 10 plus uh, uh, 4, 8. OK, uh, sorry. That's my bad. It's 10, 18. Yes, plus one die. Plus, uh, uh, technically plus two die if it's uh, applied also to the hex curse. Oh. 
Yep. So plus uh, plus uh, nine five. Sorry, my basic math is a little bit rusty. Uh, Eighteen plus a die plus what? Uh, plus fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, forty-two. Okay. Wait, wait, a second. No, right. thirty-two. Thirty-two. I, I'm sorry. Make the second one. And the second. Twenty-nine. Okay. <laughs> As it's trying to escape from this cave complex, Harley reaches out both hands and blasts two immensely powered Eldritch Blasts, hitting the back end of this dragon, and the dragon flops forward and basically crashes just outside of the cave entrance. Oh, poor Siler. Siler, make a acrobatics check. It's another 22. You deftly jump off and land in a superhero pose as the black dragon crashes into a heap. And for a very brief moment, it's it's quiet. Um, you you hear in the distance inside of the cave, like you know, you can hear Vihozi uh, like splashing around in the water. Um, you see the unconscious dwarf on the ground. Uh, and you see Viz just kind of leaning up against the wall, holding Siler's bow and, and his quiver in his hand. This brings us to Ushun. Okay, there is a uh, potion headed my way. Yes, I tossed it to you. Uh, do I pick it up? Sure. Yeah. So you're okay. around. Okay, I'm going to run over to the dwarf, open his mouth, and uh, rub his throat like this and just put it in him so he can swallow it. You do. And if I have time, I'll pick him up and carry him out to the water. Okay. Um, Angler, you're up. I'll uh, move out of the cave. Um, I don't think I'm able to get to the dragon, am I? Um, sure. I mean, you have you have Cutting your move action. and the dash. Yeah, I'll do that and just uh, see if it's still moving. I guess. Okay, it's not moving. Not moving. It as as you come out into the 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 entrance you you see that it's just covered in a variety of different wounds uh just all over its body it's just broken just a question for me to know uh have i recovered any hp for by any chance oh yeah i'm sorry go ahead and recover the appropriate amount okay it's you have killed it just um, for me to know <laughs> Siler? Um, yeah, well, you said the magic word just now, but I was just going to go and make sure. So I would go up to his head, draw my sword sword, and just uh, go for the eye and just shove my blade into it, his... It twitches a little bit, but only because your sword just went into its brain. Yeah, like um, I said, just making sure. It's, it's quite dead. Right. And you and you hear overkill. <laughs> uh, as as and and at this point we're out of initiative order. As as the aftermath of this massive combat, um, Viz Viz kind of you know comes out. Um, uh, he 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 hands the bow and quiver to you, Siler. And he says, thank you for my people. Free. 
and he hands it to you and he 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 looks over and and picks up his spear and his shield and he kind of begins walking out um towards the entrance towards the fallen dragon uh ushun the dwarf kind of blinks to life and looks at you and looks down at his his body and and um he in turn is is like ah not sure what happened but i'm grateful for for your help we should get away before we should get away before the kobolds come down uh first um you're gonna take a little swim in the water to get the rest of the acid off you i'm gonna join you my armor is destroyed so, yeah you uh, and you help we'll him uh, you guys get over to the pool by the time you get over there Vihozi's come out of the water and he's just like looking at his his just you know remnants of what other clothes he had that weren't eaten away by the acid and and he says is it dead D- did you kill it we did he says oh, you are mighty indeed he, he says we should get free from this place as soon as possible before the I Vihozi, I underestimated you. I apologize. No apologies needed. You are a mighty warrior. I've I've never seen someone take on such courage to face such a, a fearsome foe. Only when my friends are attacked. Of course. And as you guys kind of get the acid off, you, you, you go to the exit of the cave, all of you now having gathered there. And Viz suggests to you, he looks at you and he says, I go to find my people and to flee to the plains. I suggest that you, my great warriors, do as well, for this place is cursed to get far away from it before Cherna returns. I cannot repay you with coin or values, but if you ever have need to find my people, just know that the Ishterka will remember your bravery for all time. We will be needing your hospitality to recover from this. Then May come we join us quickly. Yes. Away we I'm must. Not even. I, I thought about getting a trophy, but it's diseased, and no, I'm not getting a trophy. As you guys kind of gather what you have left and begin. Uh, you follow Viz, who knows the path that his people took to to leave from this cursed place. And you begin crossing to the west through the Thar to get away from the keep. You travel for hours, eventually catching up to the rest of the Ashterka and the other prisoners who you freed. Um, but Viz is not convinced that you're safe, and you continue to travel uh, far through the night until the next morning. Completely exhausted, you guys finally kind of come to a sort of a wooded, groved area that has a little more dry land and less marshy swamp. And Viz deems that it's appropriate for he and his people and for all of you to rest in this place. You kind of gather under the shelter of the trees. Um, people find what available water is is around uh, and you you kind of make a very crude encampment. And that is where we'll end this episode of the Moon Sea Adventures. Stay tuned to find out what happens next with this hardy crew who somehow managed to survive what should have been a TPK. Thank you, as always, for watching for all of your support. Everybody have a great holiday and we'll see you in 2023. Peace out. Bye bye. I told you we'd kill a fucking dragon.
Well, hello, and welcome to Bill Allen World. I am Wizzy, the wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and watch other shows featuring Bill. He made me say that because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye.